um, being physically active, exercising, uh, maintaining, you know, con um, controlling their, keeping their medical illnesses under control, such as their diabetes or blood pressure. Um, if they are smokers, kind of educate um, them on what can happen if they continue to smoke and just, you know, maintaining a quality of life for, for our patients. So those are some things that nurses can help um, their patients to, to prevent or lower the risk of developing this disease. Um, the second um, common eye disease is glaucoma. Uh, glaucoma is a group of eye diseases that causes vision loss and blindness uh, by damaging the optic nerve. <clears throat> Uh, similar to macular degeneration, this also is predominantly seen in the older generation. Uh, symptoms start slowly, um, and some some individuals may not even have any symptoms or even notice um, they have glaucoma. Um, how to, I guess, fully or officially diagnose a patient with glaucoma is to do a comprehensive uh, dilated um, eye exam to kind of, you know, uh, physically examine the eye and evaluate. Um, if the patient does have a glaucoma. Um, there is no cure or cause to glaucoma, but early treatments can lower the risk of a patient developing this disease or uh, slow the progression as well. Um, there are three types of glaucoma, which are open angle glaucoma, which is the most common, angle closure glaucoma, and congenital glaucoma. Those are the three types. Um, risk factors, um, individuals who are older than 60, um, African American or the Hispanic community are also predisposed or more at risk of developing, developing um, this disease. Um, if you have a family history of glaucoma, um, you're also at risk of developing uh, glaucoma um, as well. Uh, signs and symptoms for glaucoma are slow vision loss, um, usually the peripheral vision, so the side vision, um, eye pain, red eye, nausea, and headaches. Those are the signs and symptoms. Uh, treatment for glaucoma consists of medications, um, usually eye drops, uh, laser treatment, or surgery. Um, the medications help lower the eye pressure. So a lot of people, a lot of patients with glaucoma will uh, use a couple, one or two eye drops to kind of lower that eye pressure. Uh, what laser treatment and surgery do, they help drain the fluid out of the eye to kind of lower um, the eye pressure uh, for the patient. Um, similar to macular degeneration, since there's no cure or cause, um, what nurses can do is just educate their patients to, you know, maintain a healthy lifestyle, you know, well-balanced diet, um, exercising, maintaining, <coughs> controlling, or stabilizing their um, medical illnesses, you know, not smoking, um, just having a good quality of life. Those are some things nurses can do, um, can educate their patients on. <coughs> <clears throat> Lastly, uh, the third eye disease is cataract. Uh, it's another common eye disease uh, where the eye's natural lenses become cloudy. Um, proteins in your lens break down and cause things to look uh, blurry, hazy, and less colorful. Uh, lens, normally lens look clear, but if you have cataracts, it kind of uh, develops like this yellow, hazy um, vision for, for the patient. Um, signs and symptoms are blurry vision, seeing double, um, sensitive to light, having trouble seeing at night, or um, seeing bright colors um, as faded or yellow. Um, causes of cataracts is usually um, because of age, um, if you have a family history of cataracts, um, if you have medical conditions such as you know diabetes, blood pressure, um, if you have like an eye injury or, or eye surgery in the past, or currently um, dealing with that, that can, that can put you at risk of developing cataracts. Um, excessive exposure to the ultraviolet light, so looking at the sun too much or being outside, um, not protecting your eyes can put you at risk. Or um, certain medications such as corticosteroids can also affect um, or uh, put a patient at risk in developing cataracts. Um, how to diagnose a patient with cataracts is to do, there's a couple ways. Uh, there's a stilt lamp exam, a retinal exam, um, and the refraction and visual acuity test. So those are the tests used to uh, evaluate and see if the patient does have uh, cataracts. Uh, once diagnosed, what nurses can do, they can educate these patients to
to get yearly eye exams, you know, wear protective eyewear when outside, um, avoid smoking if they do smoke, um, limiting driving at night, um, and managing their health, health issues such as diabetes to prevent or lower the risk of developing this. Um, the only treatment often for only treatment option for cataracts is to sur surgically remove it. Um, you don't need to remove it um, unless it's you know uncomfortable or uh, for the patient. Um, it's up to the patient if they want to remove it or not. Um, if they do want to remove it, then there is the option to surgically uh, remove it. And also, patients can be uh, prescribed um, eyeglass eyeglasses um, to protect their eyes as well. Um, so this is my lesson on, you know, the structure of the eye and kind of some common um, eye diseases that nurses will, will um, experience um, during their careers. Um, hope you enjoyed this um, video. Hope you learned something and thank you so much for watching.